So um, thank you so much for participating, for agreeing to participate in this. It's an hour-long durational drawing. Um, so when I say durational, I mean you're going to be drawing continuously for that period of time. Um, and there are different contemporary art practices that include durational drawing as performance, and a lot of those are really addressing per, uh, drawing as a way of um, creating a record of a, a time and space of being in a place um, for a specific amount of time. And oftentimes that time is sort of symbolic of something else, um, but sometimes it can just be about measuring time itself, sort of creating um, parameters um, around that experience of drawing, right? So that's what I mean by durational, and it's definitely something that is part of a contemporary art practice um, that I think would be considered drawing as performance, mostly. So, it's not performance in any way that you are you know, thinking about the spectator. It's more like performance in that performance is a time-based experience for both the performer and the observers, right? So you're just sort of staying in that experience of time when you're drawing. So that doesn't mean that you can't sort of stop and stretch, <laughs> take a look at what you're doing. Um, you certainly can, and we can maybe start by even stretching a little bit. Um, so what I was thinking about when I proposed this, I proposed this for a drawing symposium. Um, and I was thinking about um, this idea of social distance and sort of all of these, this crazy experience that we're all sort of just emerging from. And I was thinking a lot about how many people um, talk about the pandemic as if it was a lost year, as if time just disappeared and it feels very fragmented to them. So I realized that one of the ways that um, I still connect to that time period was a, a daily drawing project that I did. I did one a day, and I just had this opportunity to put them all up in a gallery. And I look back at it and I go, oh, okay, I remember. And it, it's kind of really been grounding for me to sort of look at these drawings and think, okay, I existed in this time and place, somehow made me feel a little bit less fragmented, because it, it just feels like in a blink of an eye, that crazy year, you know, or, or it's sort of all over the place, right? Um, I think for a lot of us, it felt like it was just one thing after another, and not enough time to really process what was going on. So keeping that in mind for this piece, um, also keeping in mind our idea of personal space, and the way that our bodies move around space, right? So kind of being aware of our bodies in different ways, whether, I always think about the grocery stores, like how weird that was when we first went to the grocery store and had masks and, you know, just how six feet, what is six feet, you know, and also really trying to understand one another through body language more than facial expressions. So the body really kind of um, expressed or sort of, um, helped us to sort of process that time period as well, which is why I kind of want to bring that into this performance too, this experience. So at its foundation, it's about individual and collective space kind of coexisting, right? Which I think is so, so um, true of this idea of social distance that we've had, because we've been able to be together only very much in our own personal space. So basically, metaphorically and sort of poetically, I guess, thinking about the space around you as that sort of, you know, your own space to really kind of stretch out into and own, um, but also as a way to um, protect yourselves um, and also be together at the same time. You know, I think there's a lot of different ways that we can understand that, even just about respecting each other's personal space and being safe with one another and also very respectful, right? So thinking about that individual worlds within a collective and kind of back and forth. And then I think the last thing that would be lovely is to sort of have this be somewhat therapeutic, like just kind of getting into the mark making, getting into the zone. Um, and I like to think of it as sort of a way of mending that year, kind of maybe letting thoughts of the year sort of come and go, um, putting them in, as marks or language or symbol, anything you want, really. Um, it may even be a very singular drawing, you know. Um, and thinking of it as a way to sort of 
take all that fragmentation and, and, and put it together, put it somewhere, and then leave it behind, because that was enough of as enough, right? So that's sort of the ideas, right? Lots of ideas coming together. And then what it will be is you're going to be using drawing supplies and just drawing, right, continuously. Um, I'm going to be changing the music 12 times. The, that's going to represent 12 months in the year. And it's going to change. Sometimes I think it'll be somewhat seamless. Other times it might seem like, oh, that's really different, which I think reflects also sometimes how we experience time, especially recently. Um, and I really just, I think, I would like you to try to use at least maybe four different mediums just to change things up a little bit. Um, but you can also use as many as you want, right? I was going to ask you to change each time the music changed, but I realized that that's, that's not really also how we experience time. We have different sort of ways of processing things, right? So um, I will say that I'd like us to all start with the specific um, drawing tool. So a couple of things. There's these uh, brushes with ink here. And if you want to use a little bit of water, you can scoop it <laughs> and bring it over. And it looks like, um, based on a project that you did the other day um, with Professor Kerrigan, you made some beautiful drawing tools of your own and made these gorgeous drawings outside. So it looks like some of you are playing with ink and charcoal and water and charcoal. And so you can really experiment. Um, so that's here, more brushes. There's more charcoal, colors. I think you're kind of probably familiar with these, maybe from the hallway drawing that you did, too. Charcoal pastels, I mean, color pastels, markers. So these are here for you, and you can kind of get up at your will. Um, don't be afraid to walk on these, right? Um, they're going to get the footprints. Um, the dots, right, are sort of reflective of the idea of six feet apart. They're um, ish, <laughs> six feet ish apart. And I think that's it. Does anyone have questions? You can talk anytime you want <laughs> during the event. It seems, I think, formalized because we're filming it. Um, but but really just sort of be, I want you to be comfortable. So we're going to start with these charcoal on dowels. And that sort of will be the only kind of formal part, starting at the same time and kind of wrapping it up at the same time, um, going to a spot. And then I'm going to start playing the, the music. So some of the music is going to be, a lot of it's sort of like geared towards focusing. Uh, some of it's things that I listen to in the studio to sort of get me focused, uh, some repetition involved. So it's meant to facilitate that. And then sometimes there's a little more energetic beats. Sometimes it's classical, dramatic, a little bit dramatic, which I think will be fun. OK. No questions? OK. All right, so once we start, it'll be an hour. Do you mind seeing what time it is when I start with your, oh, with your nice watch? So you can pick a spot. There's a little bit more here than um, maybe even, what was that? Um, no, that's OK. Why don't we actually make, take a little bit more space? So. It's three and three? Yeah. yeah, so maybe we'll do three and three. So um, you can get on those three. And then um, I can even make an adjustment. Actually, and then this is so. I have this uncanny ability. No. OK, and then I'm just going to remove those. So you can take, take your positions.
are equal 100 percent. Excellent. And I'm going to start. Ready?
mind each like just saying a quick thing about it? We can make little observations. Yeah, so what were you thinking? Okay, so um, I did the Aliens Area 51, it was like a big deal last year. Uh huh. And um, uh, the Broken Heart, because it was a bad year. Uh huh. <laughs> this poop above a graduation cap, because I graduated last year and I had the worst graduation ever. Yeah. And the earth is on fire because everyone was going crazy and buying all of the stuff from the stores and it was just madness. Mm -hmm. And um, I did like the little devil because it felt like like hell. It was hell. Uh huh. And then the bee because the killer bees. The killer bees. Because yeah. <laughs> if there weren't enough things. Oh, cool. I love it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. It's great. It's great. I love how you told like a little narrative, a little story. Okay, what, what were you thinking? Um, so, I knew that I just wanted to go with a woman. Yeah. So, that's kind of what I did, and that's kind of what I Uh-huh. Are you are you comfortable with the form like human form drawing the human form? Have you drawn big like that before? Really? Oh wow, it looks great. It seems like you you're really comfortable with that scale. Uh oh, you're gonna have to start making really large drawings. Yeah, <laughs> she's on to you now. <laughs> I love it. I love how you sort of pulled out these faces and the little bits of color. Cool, there's a lot to be discovered. We're gonna put these up in the big, the big long hallway, so that'll be interesting to see them too. Okay. A garden, a rose. Yeah, um, I kind of started doing the, this rose capturing it. Can you take this? Here, my grandfather customer. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wanted to do like a dark and light, and then the other side being bright as time travels. So oh, that's beautiful. Capture the moment. So it's sort of like a, an homage yeah. or an in memoriam a little bit and, and like a, a nice, like a gift, farewell. But what lies ahead is growth. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. It's beautiful. I need to take this blue off. Okay. Ah, it's going to make me feel better. I love the little thorns too. <laughs> Interesting. Great. Cool. Okay, let's look over here. Yeah, I gotta take the. Oh, look at that. It's mm. Mm hmm. Cool. Did you. How was the experience for you? Did, you? did it feel like an hour? Did it feel long or. Did it? You seem like you locked in right away. You know? Wait. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, you were in my class? I was in your class. Okay. <laughs> it all came back to me just now. The masks are just not helpful. I so loved watching you work with the tool that you made, with the chain, and you just kept going. Like, you were like, this is the mark it's going to make, I'm going to see what else it makes. And I think that the, watching your particular continuity with it was really fun to watch. Thanks for letting us watch you guys draw for an hour and film you and everything. <laughs> okay, let's look. Next. This is my flowers. flowers. I didn't really have a plan. But then I was thinking about I was standing in the center and yeah. the petals around me. Um, I was squirting paint around and I just really liked the splatters of paint. So I kept doing that. We can say it's like 
Yeah. Uh, beauty being destroyed. Uh huh. COVID mm -hmm. running rampant. Mm hmm. That certainly works. And then I really liked using the. I don't know if it was charcoal or pastel with the water, the brush. Yeah. Mm. I've never done that before, but I like how it comes out. Mm hmm. I think you were using both right, color pastel and charcoal pastel yeah. with water. Yeah, it was, it was fun to see you sort of be like play with the turkey baster yeah. and just kind of just going with it. That. Yeah, exploring the marks, noticing them, and then sort of pulling this out from that. I think it's, you know, it really does represent like a duration, you know, like you could see the different sort of. The layers. Yeah, layers, exactly of time spent. Um, and then I think the flower makes sense too, just because it's like a radial yeah. kind of symmetry um, thing. Down there, let's look. I'm gonna go so I can see better. Cool. What was your thought process? Um, it was also really fun to watch you. You seemed like you were doing, you didn't stop either, sort of just the stream of consciousness mark making. I really liked this like gradation here of these marks, yeah, kind of like seeing what nice happens. Mm. Reminded me of one of those photographs where it's like you take these little globe, like have you seen those photographs where it looks like a little world? And I'm not sure it's some kind of, you guys know what I'm talking about? These aerial photographs that then twist yeah. what you're looking at into a globe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sort of reminded me of that. And I just, I love these, discovering yeah. the faces and the marks and, you know, through the lens of, you know, thinking about that year, it reminds me of people that we lost. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to kind of think of that for me. Thank you so much.